Hello everybody, welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby, how are you? Here we are, end of another week. Where's it gone? Friday already. Uh, I hope you're ready for a fantastic day. We are here actually, we are full of the joys of spring. Finally, a spring-like day in the northeast. Oh, it's not taken long, has it? Uh, the sun is shining, the skies are blue, uh, the team's had ice cream, and we're waiting for you. Yes, I'm a poet, and I don't know it. I do know it. Um, we've got a fantastic day lined up for you. Of course, um, now it's Friday, but we're doing cartload. It's a little bit confusing, but hopefully we are getting that out there so that you know to tune in tonight. If you don't normally tune in on a Friday, your favorite show of the week is tonight. It's cartload Friday instead of Thursday, and we have got a fantastic show lined up for you. You can get on the web right now. You can start shopping the show. All the deals are there for you. There's no surprises as such, right? So we won't be going, oh, little half an hour deals within the show. Everything is there right now. So you can get shopping, pick up your deals, and then come back and join us for some fun later on. This show, very exciting for the fact that we're all about having a bit of a sneaky peek first look because you'll know with it being National Craft Month, we are bringing you so many new launches each and every week. Next week, boy oh boy oh boy, we have got I think the biggest launches of the month. Um, as part of National Craft Month as well, don't forget we're giving you codes, so do make sure you shop the uh, NCM Mixed Media code, which is live for you still. 30% off selected mixed media with that code. Runs up until end of play Sunday. But as I say, next week it is all about brand new launches, and this show is all about having a bit of a sneaky peek before anybody else. And to take a bit of a sneaky peek with me uh, is a lady who I feel I like not worked with for so long. She's back today for first look and cartload send in the love as well because she's got a bit of a oh you've got a bit of a poorly back haven't you lily a bit of a bad back what what we're being called now hop along cassidy hop along cassidy yeah but yeah. do you know what we're going to have an action-packed day here on crafters tv for certain i am so so looking forward to today first look i always feel a little bit i'd say i always feel a little bit naughty yeah i know what you mean look. feels like can we actually show you these goodies yeah. but absolutely we can we're not just showing you one launch we're not just showing you two launches. We are going for that triple whammy. We are going to show you three brand new launches that are coming up next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I am so excited about every single one of them. I was thinking I might ask you guys in the comments which one's your favourite, but do you know what? Because I can't personally answer that myself, I probably won't ask you guys at home. But if you do want to let us know what's your favourite out of the three as we go through this first look show, then do feel free. But of course, tonight it's all about the cartload. Yes, we are very confused as to what day of the week it is. I promise you it's Friday, I promise you it's cartload, and I promise you we have got some stonking deals on that show, including a brand new launch, which you're going to have to check out because you can shop early, you can get in before cartload and grab those bargains. Looking forward to today, it's going to be an absolute belter. There's uh, loads of you already in. Superstar Susie on the socials, sending through the hellos, and already in is Christine Mahoney, who says, good morning, everyone. Uh, looking forward to seeing the all-new launches, especially uh, the Enchanted Oceans collection. Mm -hmm. uh, that is Wednesday next week. Uh, Margaret Sin saying, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, Laurie says, good morning, everyone. Looking forward to the Duet Ink Pad color-changing launch um, and Arabian Nights. Happy Friday. Uh, Sarah Brown says, hi everyone, how are you all doing? Sending a hug from Melbourne, Australia. It's just gone midnight. Hello. Uh, Christine Mahoney says, looking good, Ben. Nice shirt. Thank you. I haven't, I've only dug this one out once, I've only ever worn it once before because I wore it once and I wasn't that sure, but then I picked it out today and I thought, sunny day, sort like of spring. It. Yeah, I'm not sure. It reminds me of a certain artist and the name escapes me of the artist. What, as in painter artist? Painter or... artist, yeah. Ah. It might come back to me. What, yeah. it reminds you of the actual artist who wore shirts like this? Or no, the, the actual style. paintings that they did, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It'll come back to me. But yeah, I like it. It feels very, very, I don't know, very, um, very botanical. botanical. Are they feathers? Are they leaves? The, uh, the, the leaves. Leaves? Yeah. Mm, very nice. Uh, I like it. Thank you. It's very trendy, apparently, like hip and cool or something. Yeah, like down with the kids. Rad. You know, all, yeah. the, all the sayings that all the kids are coming out with these days. Hip and happening. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. What's the other one they always use as well? Oh, shall I say it? If, I don't know if Ooh. it's like a rude one. Begins with, the, begins, with, begins with an R. Yeah. Can you say that? What? Uh, I'm, I've, got, I've got the riz. I'm not, I'm not being funny. I've never even heard of that. Yeah. 
Apparently it's like if you've got like the, if you're snazzy. Like this shirt, basically. Snazzy, um, see, that's one that I can get down with, yeah. snazzy. That's what I understand, at least. Mm. That's what Laura says, snazzy shirt, Ben. Yeah, we understand snazzy. Uh, Shadai's in, saying, good morning, Lord Ben, and sweet Lily. Laurie's in, saying, hello, happy to be here on this lovely Friday morning in Gilbert, Arizona. And Stephen Nicole says, hi there, managed to get some sleep, working tonight till three. I must get me the Arabian Nights, Tuesday, uh -huh. next week. Um, hi to Kendall in Minnesota. Uh, Shazel is back and also Laurie says I'm so excited for this show I need the ink pad inspiration bad and I love watching our sweet and talented Lily Ben oh. and Lily together is awesome thank you uh, we're going to start off with and just have a quick look around the uh, ink pads that um, Laurie wanted to see the duet color blooms and I've got to tell you I saw these briefly previously on um, a, a little sneaky peek with Sarah for HSN and it doesn't take a lot to um, sort of make me confused, but I looked at these and the way Sarah was using them, it was like, it's like magic. These mm. create um, two colors for you simply with the application of water. Um, I know Lily's got a board to show you, but this board here shows you uh, the 12 different uh, duet blooms that you're gonna be able to get your hands on and sort of just goes into a little bit of detail here of the different colors that you're gonna be able to create. Um, just by simply um, using water to do that. And you can see, particularly on things like, like the pink grapefruit here, the beautiful shoal, that anemone, this is one ink pad creating the um, duet of colors. It's absolutely incredible. Don't ask me the science behind it because I don't know. It's something like you won't have ever seen before. And I think it's gonna be another one that everybody is gonna snap up as far as um, ink pads are concerned because it does something that none of the other ink pads do, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not being funny. I have, should we say a few ink pads? One or two? Just, you know, just, just a couple. Don't have many. But these, honestly, when I got my hands on these, I was like, wow. Yeah. I have not got a single other ink pad in that rather large collection that does anything like these ink pads, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, you look at them in first glance, you think, yep, lovely, lovely ergonomic design there. It's going to fit into the palm of my hand really easily. I have got that um, wider applications uh, usage at the top there where you've got that larger part of the ink pad. It tapers down to that really fine point so you can get into those details. You take the lid off and you think... Lily, that just looks like an ordinary duet ink pad. Lovely colour, yeah, but it doesn't look like anything special. But the magic really does start to come to the fore. That magic starts to happen when you actually bring water into the mix. And we've got a board here, and this is just a few, just a smattering of the techniques that you can be doing with these incredible ink pads. And this is just one of the colours. I know you're going to look at this and you're going to think we've used multiple colourways, multiple ink pads on that sample there, but every single sample here is using just one colour of ink pad, that beautiful Dusk Orchid. So you've got ideas here where you can be using your stencils, ink through your stencils, spritz with water, bringing your, your glitter paste over the top. So ink up your background using these fantastic duet ink pads, your colour bloom ink pads, and then go over the top with your iridescent in your clear glitter paste. And it looks amazing because not only do you get that shimmer and shine, it picks you up differently. You get that almost like a, that second colourway in the glitter. It mm. looks incredible. Do you resist techniques with your stamping? So stamp, uh, when then maybe heat emboss, then ink over the top, it's going to look incredible. Here, more stamping spritzing with water creating those inky mop-up backgrounds all these techniques are possible with just one ink pad which is absolutely incredible and just to whet your crafty appetite just a little bit more in case you weren't already sold and quite frankly I don't know why you wouldn't be because this is in addition to our crafty stash that we have not already got which is so so exciting to be able to breathe fresh life into maybe some of your older stamps maybe some of your older stencils and embossing folders you can be giving them that new lease of life with these fantastic ink pads here we've stamped with spritz we've done that with our sentiment with our background with our our topper it looks absolutely gorgeous how about bringing into the mix as well some of perhaps your older stamps that you've got this being our incredible floral collage collection that you, we brought you a few months ago using that for your backgrounds but also painting with them you can do all of those techniques as well and then finally not just about your paler colors of cardstock you can be using these fantastic color blue ink pads onto your black and your dark colors of cardstock as well how incredible does that look embossed and then inked using these amazing colour blooming pads honestly you're going to make want to make sure you tune in one o'clock monday here with leanne is going to be absolutely incredible you're going to want to get your hands on these first of three sneaky peeks that we're going to be sharing with you throughout the course of today's first look
Yeah, Leanne, uh, here Monday, don't forget. So that's when you'll be able to pick those up. I would get in nice and early. Uh, you'll probably find they will be um, live on the website from about 11, probably, Monday morning. So pick those up. Uh, Arabian Lights launching Tuesday. Enchanted Ocean on Wednesday. Uh, this, though, um, is the board to show you all of the different colours that you're going to be getting. And already, lots of excitement here. Uh, Deborah says, so excited for next week. Um, getting ready to shop till I drop. Um, Polly's in saying, awesome day to everyone from Florida. Um, Rosalind is in saying good morning everyone. Nice to see Lily. Look at all the fantastic colours that you've got here. Um, Cindy says happy Friday Ben and Lily from central Massachusetts and uh, Ginny Van Vliet saying wow these are gorgeous. Um, I think there is going to be a lot of love for these. Um, Yvonne's just saying uh, good afternoon everyone. Looking forward to seeing what's coming up. Crafters Companion is going to make me bankrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, my favourite crafting brand ever. I hope that doesn't happen but um, well, I, I do hope though that you do manage to pick up everything that you want to be able to pick up next week. Um, you know there will be various buying options for you but um, we're just giving you a bit of a sneak peek. Give you a heads up so you can kind of get things in your diary, get things in your calendar and um, get up nice and early to grab all the deals because something like this I think is going to fly and particularly when we've got Leanne launching it as well I think you're probably going to be um, even more inspired um, when Leanne is in because I feel again like I've not seen Leanne for absolutely ages so Monday marketing your diary one o'clock uh, UK time uh, Sherry says good morning Crafted TV team uh, with Ben and Lily peeking in from work uh, so excited for the new launches uh, Hayley says hey Ben Lily Susie and everyone hope you're all having a great day I'm so excited for these pads uh, and thank you everyone for the love of the shirt I never expected to get so much but I'm seeing a lot of shirt love today so thank you I shall wear it again in the future now moving on from Monday to Tuesday uh, next week we launch the fantastic I'm gonna get the tune wrong on this because you guys always take the mickey I have seen the movie Arabian Nights is that how it goes yeah have you seen Hey, come uh, on now, Ben, it's a film. Have I seen a film that's not Shrek uh, or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? If it's not either of those two films, chances are I've not seen it. So Aladdin, no. Arabian Nights. No. 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 Anyway, uh, I'm going that way, but Lily's going to show you a few finished samples from this amazing collection. <gasps> it's another stunner. I'm sorry, guys, you're going to need all three of these. Like I said at the top of the show, there's no way I'm choosing between all three of these. I'm having all of them. My orders are going in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday so get prepared <laughs> because this is yet another stunner. And this is Arabian Nights. And I love the fact that this is something a little bit different for us here at Crafters Companion, something that we've not really brought you in this kind of style before. So it's going to add and maybe fill in a little bit of a gap that you've got in your craft stash I think it's gonna be great for some of your mail cards as well uh, depending on what colorways what route you want to take this down so first up look at some of the incredible details you can get using those foil transfers so quite simple carding design but doesn't it look amazing and in part of that foil <laughs> transfer kit you're getting six different colors giving you that amazing shimmer and shine Ooh, on yeah. there we're also including some fantastic shimmering pads as part of this collection a look at the backgrounds you That's can be creating. That's incredible, isn't it? How amazing is that? We're actually going to be working with some of those stamps and dies in our demo, but that is absolutely stunning. But wow, if you want to create absolute showstoppers, look at that oh, box wait. there. How amazing is that? We've used some of the dies. I say we, it's the Royal We. It's our fantastic Marie that's created this amazing box. She's used some of the dies on the edges there, a little bit of drop shadowing as well with that beautiful gold mirror car stock. That die on the top is part of the collection. Your sentiment's also included, but how clever is it that she's actually used the die that creates those panels there, that top die. She's actually used it to create a tag there, which I think is super, super innovative. Absolutely love that but how amazing is that can you imagine giving gifts a few chocolates i'm thinking turkish delight would be quite it nice would need to there. be a special gift in a box oh, like that gosh it? yeah it's got to be it's got to be something nice it can't be some some cheapy chocolate it's got to be something gorgeous but yeah. wow how amazing is that and that's just three of the samples here i've got a box full of incredible samples but when you guys get this home i cannot wait to see what you're going to create because my goodness me as ben's about to show you now it's an incredible collection it really is an incredible collection and what you're going to love about this as well it's um it's a more manageable collection is what i would say and i think you're going to love the
the price on this when we show you next Tuesday. Um, it is fantastic. Everything that you would expect and more. All your paper pads across the top here. So we're bringing you your um, 12 by 12 uh, beautiful paper, 36 double-sided sheets there. You're also going to get within that your linen cardstock. And because they've been so popular in collections recently, we have got your 8 by 8 foil transfers as well. So you've got all of these beautiful designs uh, and six different colors of your foil to be using in there too. Um, as we come across and show you um, across the center, again, six by six paper pads in here. You've also got, you know, tons of dies in there. You've got your decorated window, that ornamental tile, which you've seen, um, the Moroccan lantern. Love that magical um, window scene, which you caught a little um, a glimpse of just a few moments ago. But there's embossing folders in there. Uh, you've also got a, a wonderful set of stamps. And of course, um, you've got your um, shimmer ink pads in there too. So it's a really, um, as I say, it's like a more manageable size bundle, but it's very comprehensive with all of the goodies that you've got in there. And as Lily sort of touched on, a very different collection to the kind of collections which you might associate with us. And all I will say with this one is, I know there's already a lot of clamor on socials about it, a lot of people looking forward to it. We brought you, I think recently, lots of different collections, haven't we? You know, things that spring to mind for me, things like the Cosmic Collection, you know, um, when we brought you the uh, Pets Rule Collection, going back a little bit further, brought you the Bohemian Collection. And all those collections that have been a little bit different, have flown out of the door. So I think that potentially is what is gonna happen on Tuesday. If you've got your eye on this and you're loving it, uh, there'll be hundreds of other people with that same idea. So again, get it in your diary, make sure you're in early Tuesday uh, to pick this up. And just to whet that appetite a little further, I know Lily has got a uh, demo up her sleeve. What are you gonna be using from the collection, Lily? Well, the beauty of collections like this, Ben, is you've got so much to play with. Literally everything within this amazing range is going to coordinate and work together perfectly. So it makes car making an absolute breeze, no matter whether you've been car making for 10, 20, 30 or plus years, or maybe this is day one of that car making journey. You can create the most stunning makes with this collection easily, straight out of the box, which I absolutely love. But what we're going to start off first is with one of these fantastic edible style dies. And within this collection, we're actually giving you two of these different styles of edibles. But the one we're going to work with here is our fantastic Moroccan Lantern. And perhaps you've never seen an edible style die before. Well, they are fantastic because they give you so many different options. And what we mean by an edible die is one side will cut out of your car stock. So you can see here, we've got that cutting blade all around that right hand side of that die. So you can see the cutting blade along there that will cut out of the car stock. But that left hand side of that die there, there's no outline die around there. So that left hand side is going to stay within our car stock, which gives us so much versatility when we're crafting. What it means is that piece of car stock on that left hand side there can be as long or as short as you want you can literally trim that down so it's just a border or you can create a car base you can cut this into box lids box bases whatever you choose but because you've got the edible concept it gives you all that versatility what we're going to do here is we're going to cut it into our card base and i've created my own card base from a piece of multi-purpose card it's a five and a quarter by six inch card base so it's just going to fit onto my gemini junior plates that we've got here then I've got a couple of pieces of low tack tape. Always really important that you tape your dies into position just to make sure that they don't shift or move as they go through that die cutting machine. And it's gonna ensure you've got that perfect placement which is important uh, when we're lining this up onto our card base just like so. I'm lining up so I've got an equal distance between that top extension there and the right hand side of the card and that bottom extension there and the right hand side of the card. Taping onto the waist because like we say, all that section there is gonna be our card. So that's gonna stay within the car stock. So anything there on the right hand side is actually gonna cut out. So we're safe to tape onto the right hand side of our car stock uh, because we know if that tape does get a little bit more tacky as it goes through that die cutting machine, we do not need to worry because if that rips and tears, that's gonna be our waste anyway. So using our Gemini Junior plates into our large scale machine. Now what we're gonna wait for is we're gonna wait for this pitch to slightly change and then we're just gonna reverse it back out because we've just popped our die just at that top edge there. All you need to do, you can hear the little bit of a click. I know when you first start die cutting, it can be like, have I done something wrong? Was that little click normal? Absolutely, it's normal because think of almost like if you're going over a speed bump on a road. Mm because we've got that die there up against the rollers. It's almost like that resistance as it goes through that rollers, as it goes through the machine. Uh, but it just means that when we hear that click, we know that it's gone all the way through. We've had that die cut all the way through our machine, so we can just pause and reverse it back out. And I know when we first start die cutting, so many people will say, 
make sure that whenever you're die cutting that you have your dies along the length of your machine you don't ever put your dies up against the rollers it won't cut yada 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 <laughs> quite frankly you've just seen i have just cut that die on that very top edge there literally straight against the rollers of the machine going against everything anyone ever tells you about die cutting and you can see with one pass through that die cutting machine just a couple of pieces there to flick out it is die cut absolutely perfectly let's bring in a piece of contrasting colored cardstock there and you can see how perfectly that has die cut with one pass through the machine so when people are telling you about never cut against the rollers well our gemini 2 can handle it with absolute ease which i think is incredible so that's our card base there, all cut into using that fantastic edible die. But of course, we can't see that so well with it being white against white. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some of our mats and layers. And this is where our fantastic papers actually come into the fore. My goodness me, wow, look wait. at that. Yeah. I mean, if you want papers with depth, if you want papers with interest, with detail, these are going to be the ones for you. Look at all of the layers within there. That's it. You've got your background, you've got your foreground, you've got all those little extras, your little stars in there, you've got your florals, you've got those beads, and honestly, they look like real gold. It looks like it's foiled onto there, but it is just a printed paper and an uncoated paper as well. So if you are getting the full collection when it launches next week, you will be getting those fantastic shimmer ink pads included as well, which allows you to add that extra bit of shimmer, that extra bit of colour onto your fan fantastic papers and those colours are brand new shimmering pad colours you'll have never seen those before and they're totally exclusive to that fantastic Arabian Nights collection so if you want all of those new shimmering pad colours if you're anything like me and have been collecting those shimmering pads you need to make sure you get your hands on those fantastic new colourways exclusive to our Arabian mm. Nights. That linen car stock, of course, will be included as part of that collection as well. So literally everything you need to make the most beautifully professional coordinated cards uh, is included within this collection. I tend to favour quite small thin mats and layers when I'm doing my cards. So we've got a quarter of an inch increments between our mats and layers here. Uh -huh. And with this one, I've just got a border left and right rather than top and bottom because this strip is just going to go onto the front section of my card. Now the glue that I'm using is our fantastic Collal All Purpose. It's the one that I favour when it comes to our mats and layers. Gives me that little bit of wiggle room, so if I need to manoeuvre uh, my mats and layers into position, maybe I'm not happy with them being straight and level. Uh, in the first instance, you've got that ability to just move them around as needed. So this piece, this larger piece, is going to go into the centre of our card. Oh, that paper. Honestly, it's one of those you can't stop looking at it. You look at it, you see a bit more detail. So the more you peer into it, the more you see, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm noticing now we've got little tassels. That looks almost like a little poppy. You've got the lant in there. I yeah. mean, you know what I'm thinking when it comes to these papers. Of course, fussy cutting galore yeah. for absolute certain. That's going to be incredible to get all those extra embellishments cut out of there. And then that's going to go on the front, but I think we'll use a little bit of foam tape for that. But before we stick that down, our lanterns are looking pretty on there, but I want to bring in a little bit more dimension. I want to make them pop a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of faux paper piecing. I do love a bit of paper piecing, but it can be a little bit time consuming. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of faux paper piecing. So what we're going to do is just lay some of our orange card behind uh, some of these lanterns. So I'm going to stick um, part of this section so I'm just going to apply glue onto the lantern, so not all the detail around, because what we'll do is we'll apply our paper, or our cardstock even, to the reverse, and then we'll just snip around it. So we're not going to have orange all over the backing, it's just going to be around those uh, selected areas. So it's going to be almost like uh, we've got the light shining through onto these beautiful lanterns. So let's just line that up, making sure that they're all covered. There we go. And then let's just take our scissors, I'm going to remove some of the excess cardstock to start with just so it makes it a little bit more manageable and I'm not fighting with uh, a load of cardstock around the edge to cut that out. So that's our first bit there. That just mm -hmm. makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable. Of course, you could be doing your real uh, paper piece and if you want to call it that. Um, it just is a little bit, uh, a little bit time consuming when you've got some of your smaller areas like we have onto here. But of course, if that's something that you, you like to do, if you love your paper piecing, then this is going to be a dream to paper piece for sure. You put your film behind there as well. Oh you my yeah? goodness, yes, I hadn't thought of that. What a fabulous idea. That would look amazing. Illusion I'm thinking uh, your tropical sunset would be nice. Your coral would be lovely as well. Yeah. Uh, so you could literally just do the same sort of technique. So just um, 
pop that behind and then you could just uh, cut round like we are doing here. So just taking your scissors and we're just going to make sure that we're snipping around. We don't want any of the excess orange cardstock showing mm. at the edges. So I'm just going to do one section at a time and then that's just going to leave us with that beautiful orange card only behind the um, detail that we've got in these beautiful lanterns. I mean, of course, it's going to work perfectly with everything else within the collection, with everything that's got that gorgeous Moroccan look and feel. But I know a lot of people, they like to have lanterns in their garden, uh, lanterns at perhaps outdoor events, at weddings. So maybe you could actually be giving this a, um, a wedding theme, a wedding vibe, if you so choose. Uh, that could look gorgeous as well. I've just lost that from that top section there, so I'm just going to pop a little bit more glue. Make sure I've got plenty of tape onto that top one there. I think the bottom two are done. Bottom two are done. It's just that top one. So let's just re-stick that back into position, just like so. Give that a little bit of burnish, and that will allow that glue to actually be activated. Just the heat from your hand is enough uh, to burnish that uh, glue into position. And then all we're going to do is going to complete the cut at the top there and then around this bottom edge as well and that's just going to give us that lovely almost like faux illuminated effect behind here another lovely option with this die would be to pop some acetate behind and then you could actually use some of your alcohol pens to color that in almost like a uh, stained glass window effect that would look absolutely beautiful as well but that's our a um, little bit of orange added behind there nice and easy now let's bring in that matte and layer uh, and then we're actually going to use some of our foam tape onto the reverse of that just to lift it a little bit more proud from the front of our card base so we've got some tape there so one length along there and all of your glues all of your adhesives as always you will find over on the crafters companion website i know we've got lots of different glues lots of different tapes whatever you favor there's something uh, for every style and every sort of project that you might be working on so that's that, all good to go. And then we're just gonna line that up so we've got an even border along that left-hand side. And that's gonna be the front of our card decorated just like so. Beautiful. How gorgeous are those papers. Mm. But we're gonna fill this space a little bit more by bringing in some more elements from this fantastic collection. And this is where we're gonna use the magical window scenes. And this is a fantastic set of both stamps and dies. So lots of versatility, lots of options with this one set. Now, like we can see on the packaging here, we actually had a look at this sample earlier uh, in real life, so to speak. You can be using those shimmer ink pads that you get included as part of that collection to actually create your own backgrounds. But if you're not as confident when it comes to those inky backgrounds, perhaps you uh, are wanting to create a quicker card, then you can be using your pattern papers as well. And that's exactly what we're going to do for this particular card. So let's take a piece of paper. And we've cut this down to uh, two and a quarters in width. Length is um, going to be around about four and three quarters. It doesn't matter, it's completely up to you what measurements you want to go uh, with for this particular design, just depending on the look you're wanting to create. And then we're just going to take one of our fabulous dies from here. So let's go in. Was it that one I used? I'm just having a little look. So many choices because you've got all of these different tops that we've got in here. So it's up to you how long that strip of that window might be. But you've got all of those different decorative edges that you can be placing onto your paper. So we're going to bring our die cutting uh, plate back into play here. And we're going to line up this uh, even more options completely outside this collection as well. And we're going to do the same little trick here where we're just going to run that through. We can hear that that's cut and then we're just going to reverse it back out. Using our Gemini Junior plates in the Gemini 2 just saves us so much time. It means we can get on with the fun bit, the creative bit, uh, a little bit quicker and do the bits of crafting that we really enjoy. So there we go. We've cut out our lovely piece onto there just like so. So we've got our gorgeous um, shape there. Love the fact that we've included that just as a topper die there. So it's up to you how wide or long that piece of cardstock is. That is entirely your choice. Mm -hmm. Then all we've gone ahead and done already is we've taken some of the fabulous stamps from this collection. And I love the way that on the packaging there, we've got all the gorgeous silhouettes. We've got that beautiful crisp black stamping against that lovely um, bright background. But what we've done is something a little bit different. We've actually gone in with some of our white embossing powder there. So all I've done is I've taken a, a clear watermark ink pad, I've stamped the designs over the top of there and I've literally just heat embossed using some of our white embossing powder. Super, super simple and easy, but just gives you a completely different effect compared to using uh, your black cardstock. 
I just thought as well, not black cardstock, even your black ink pad, uh, just as well matches nicely with the white cardstock that we've got on our background there. This is gonna go onto the front of our card just like so. So let's bring in some of our foam tape or foam pads just to make sure that we raise this proud from our background to make it really stand off and make it that focal point of our card. So a few foam pads, I always say a few foam pads and always end up adding maybe quite a few more than a few. Uh, but here we go, this is gonna make the difference and make our cards have that lovely uh, dimensional finish to them. So peel the backs off of those and that's just gonna sit on that left hand side trying to have an even space in left and right, top and bottom, just so that's nice and central. What I've also done with this tag is I've actually rounded the uh, bottom corners there just to keep it uh, tying in with that top section there. We've got the nice smooth curves. Then I've also stamped out that um, exact same lantern again, mm -hmm. but this time onto a separate piece of paper. I've fussy cut it out and we're going to use that as a separate little embellishment onto our card. Uh -huh. Just going to Cut down my foam pad a little bit, it's a little bit too large for that topper, but not to worry. Just chop that down to size, and then that's gonna lay over that left-hand side just as that extra little embellishment, like mirroring what we've got on the top of that. And then finally, just to finish it off, I've taken one of the sentiments that's also included as part of the collection, heat embossed once again uh, onto one of our fantastic pattern papers, and that's just gonna go down there, I think something like that with a foam pad, just to finish off our design like so. Gone for joyous occasion because of course that could be literally any yeah. occasion at all. And that's something else I absolutely adore about this collection. These can be creating cards for almost any occasion that you like. They're gonna be ideal for scrapbook pages as well. So, so much versatility with this amazing collection. You can see in not very much time at all, you can create stunning cards with absolute ease. And that's the beauty of having a coordinated collection. A collection that's something a little bit different as well. I love the Arabian Nights collection. Yeah, it's launching on Tuesday for you as well. Lots of love for this. Um, loads of people watching as well, which is great. Wendy's in um, from Newcastle. All things wonderful, says so can't wait uh, for this. Um, I'd like to have a nosy as to what's coming up. It's good to have a little bit of a nosy, isn't it? See what's there. It is good to know and good to knows. Kirsty D says, good afternoon, everyone. Just finished work for the Easter holidays. Two weeks off work, Kirsty D. Boom. How's your challenge going, by the way? I, I'm sure you messaged the other day about that. Let me know. Um, Janice says, good morning from West Virginia. I've ordered uh, the ink pads uh, from the last HSN craft day. Michael's in. Uh, Sandra Dunder says, I'm all about the Enchanted Ocean collection. So it's Wednesday for me. We will look at that very shortly. Uh, Ruth Miser is in. Uh, said, been using my new MIDI die cutting most of the morning today. Team MIDI Ruth. I love that. And I know you bought that, didn't you? Very recently. Uh, cannot wait for the ink pads and Enchanted Oceans. Stunning, 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 says Tina. Uh, Jenny said, I sang the whole song. That's the Arabian night. The whole time I was working on my samples I need I do you know what I need to get that in my mind ready for Tuesday so I can sing the whole thing because all I know is Arabian Nights that's it uh, Dawn is in saying hi Ben and Lily uh, love your shirt thank you and Lynn says I'm excited by Enchanted Oceans Christine's in uh, Sarah Lindsay says watching for the first time in the week uh, just had a baby on the 14th oh congratulations uh, enjoying watching the crafting now that I'm starting to feel normal again. Um, what did you have, Sarah? I mean, don't say a baby, because we obviously know, but what, what was it, boy, girl, what, names? Let us know, come on. Um, Geraldine says, good afternoon, Ben and Lily and everyone, looking forward to all the inspiration. And Hayley Ralph says, what a gorgeous collection. This is loving the vibe and colors. Christine says, show us the paper pad. I'll show you everything that you're gonna get. <laughs> Christine, I don't know why I always do a voice when I do your your messages, but you know it's it's all it's <laughs> it's all done with love, as you know. But they are gorgeous, aren't they? You know, as we as we've talked about here, layer upon layer upon layer. You've got your beads on top of the beautiful florals, on top of the lanterns and the tassels and that moonlit scene, even. Not supposed to be, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be, but I think they are. It's almost like a little magic carpet you've got flying through um, oh. the Arabian night there. You see a little uh, magic carpet ride, like Aladdin and Jasmine on a magic carpet ride. That's one of the lyrics to one of the songs, isn't it? In the, yeah, but <laughs> I can show you the world. <laughs> Shiny, shimmering, splendid. <laughs> Tell me free. I know that song, I just don't know the one you guys always gone about. And I know the one that Will Smith sings as well. 
You, you, ne you ain't never had a friend like me, that one. But I mean, look at that again, full moon there over that beautiful um, Arabian sort of um, setting there. Again, the reverse that you've got is, is kind of like the background of each of the papers there. So, you know, if you want to kind of um, stamp onto those, ink onto those, do you know what? I think some of these papers would lend themselves really nicely to some of the hints and uh, tips and techniques that Sheena was showing you yesterday with the masks. Imagine how nice that Lotus um, mask would look on some of these papers. So you could incorporate that um, into these papers too. But it is stunning. I mean, again, it's one of those which is so, so very different to um, kind of anything that we've done. This one almost looks like, I, I feel like you could kind of incorporate that into a bit of a Christmas make as well with your sort of, um, you know, some festive lanterns there, sort of a follow the star kind of vibe going on, which I absolutely love. Um, but you get all of these 36 double sided sheets. You've got th uh, three designs, well, sorry, three pages of each of the 12 designs in there. You get that replicated into a um, 12 by 12 pad as well. Uh, sorry, a six by six pad, which I know a lot of you love. You're then going to get within this, as far as your um, consumables are concerned, your beautiful luxury linen cardstock, all working perfectly to match up with the papers that you've got within that. Uh, we will play the game in the show. There. Oh, stop. Does it match? Yes, it does. Um, it always does, because we wouldn't play that game if it didn't. Can you imagine if we flip through and went, oh, no, that doesn't... What have they done there? They've got the wrong colours. Uh, but no, it always does. Um, you've got also in there your foil transfers. You guys are loving the foil transfers. I feel like we've, we've brought these back and made them sort of very um, a la mod and kind of um, back on trend again. You're going to get within this set uh, your um, foiled sheets, 8x8 eight eight size. So you get your um, design in there and your six sheets um, as well of all of those beautiful colors. And look at that again, it's lanterns, it's borders, it's those uh, beautiful sort of um, Arabian uh, towers. Yeah, great for embellishments, but also great if you just wanna create like your full projects with them as well. Um, absolutely stunning, that's included. And then all of your hardware again, which you've seen, um, you're gonna get beautiful um, edibles in here. That one is called your um, embellished, embellished twin? That's what it says. Trim. That trim. does not say trim. Uh, I'm going to call, I'm going to go with what it looks like, embellished twin. Uh, you've got that beautiful ornamental tile in there too. Again, that sort of theme running through in your um, 3D embossing folder, uh, mosaic tiles. Again, we've kind of like, you know, really hit the nail on the head as far as like the architecture is concerned. There's those beautiful Moroccan lanterns. Again, um, that uh, window, decorated window, really, really kind of bang on to the kind of things uh, you're going to see if you ever travel to sort of this part of the world. You've got sentiments in here as well. Sentiments again for all sorts of different occasions, so joyous occasion hope, faith and joy, uh, um, send the spirit of positivity. You're also, as he's touched on, going to get the beautiful shimmer inks in there as well. So the little mini uh, ink pads and brand new colours. You've got um, kind of scene setters in there as well as far as dies are concerned. And then your stamp and die set, which is the magical window scene. I mean, just a lovely set to create again depth and dimension and then build up uh, that beautiful sort of Arabian scene and then again going along the sort of theme of the architecture and the design we have done it in stencil form for you as well it's a comprehensive collection like you said I don't think it's too overwhelming it's not one of those collections that you get back and like sort of don't know where to start I think you're going to love it. I think it's going to absolutely fly. Uh, so make sure you join us on uh, Tuesday next week for the launch of that. Um, and of course, getting nice and early, you will find that um, it should be live on the web round about 11. Uh, Diane Lance says, fabulous goodies at Crafters. Awesome, so inspiring. Thank you for sharing the awesomeness uh, from Pensacola. Uh, Emma Bailey says, hey, Ben and Lily, looking forward to the collection so much. Uh, lovely to team with the Bohemian Collection um, and Silent Night. Uh, Laura says, yeah, the illusion film you could use with your lanterns. Um, Rose says the topper shapes would make great gift, cards, gift tags. There's so many comments coming through. Superb, beautiful, uh, amazing. Just some of the superlatives that I can see here. Um, and Anne says, Will Smith, Robin Williams. Depends which, because he was in, it is Robin Williams, but Will Smith was also in it, wasn't he? I know, I know. Try and make out that I know the movie and I still get it wrong. Right, let's move on away from Arabian Nights to somewhere under the sea as we go for a swim in an enchanted ocean. 
Yeah, number three of our three fantastic sneaky peeks on today's first look is all about the Enchanted Ocean. And I know so many of you guys at home have been just like me and have been waiting for this fantastic collection to launch. Make sure you put the date in your diary. It's Wednesday that this one is launching, Wednesday this coming week, so not long at all now to wait and talk about Enchanted. This is the most incredible collection. A whopping 29 items are included in this full collection. Just absolutely stunning. And once again, typical of all of our collections here at Crafters Companion, whether they're Sarah's signature nature's garden or any of our design collections, everything is going to work together perfectly. So here you can start to see uh, those scenes being put together using even some of that beautiful holographic foiled acetate in the background. Some of your dyes, some of your stamps, your sentiments. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? Maybe more into your stamping and inking. Well, we are also including pens and inks, exclusive colorways in the inks once again as part of this collection. Doesn't that look beautiful? But great for posting as it's a nice flat cast. It's going to be ideal if you are popping that through the mail and then finally I just wanted to show you this one because this is showing some of the fantastic finishes and mixed media products that are also part of this collection we've got glitter paste that glitter paste that we're including is an exclusive color to this collection and also a pack of your illusion film doesn't that look incredible wow Absolutely. what an amazing collection this one is make sure you're going to be setting those alarms for Wednesday because honestly you're going to want to get your hands on this amazing collection um it's big. It's Ooh, like the Atlantic it Ocean, isn't it? I mean, it is a, the Atlantic Ocean of all collections. Uh, I mean, phew, bang for buck, you are getting a lot of goodies right here. Um, you'll need to be in the show on Wednesday to see it in full detail. After at least done a demo, I'll do my very best to kind of show you through it um, on boards and give you a flick through. But just as a, a brief overview, of course, you're getting 12 by 12 um, in here as far as your papers are concerned. Of course, you're getting luxury learning card stock. I think that's just becoming like a, a real sort of staple when it comes to these sort of collections as well. Uh, vellum, you're going to be receiving. You're also also going to be getting in here um, shimmer ink pads you've got glitter in here you've got uh, aqua markers tons when it comes to your stencils as well you've also got more of that illusion film in here you've got gilding flakes you've got six by six and 12 by 12 paper pads in case i didn't mention that you've got shells you've got sprays you've got ribbon you've got so much when it comes to crafting uh, stamps embossing folders uh, you've got beautiful dyes in here and look we've got all of the different creatures from the sea beautiful seashells in here you've got well two different types of jellyfish actually you've got your uh, joyful jellyfish and then you've also got your jubilant jellyfish as well in dye form look at that beautiful spiraling shell that's stunning we've got one of the most handsomest seahorses that i've ever seen mm -hmm. and he's called handsome seahorse there's mermaids uh, there's beautiful edibles with the shells in here as well there's mermaids i mean my goodness me it is absolutely stunning you've got luxury foiled acetate in here too it's huge i will take you through the boards in just a few moments time because it's going to be easier to do that but i just want you to see the vastness of this collection it is absolutely massive so we, we very rarely come over this side uh, of the studio but we had to do it here because it is so big so um how on earth lily is going to choose what to demo with i have no idea Honestly, the amount you're getting in this collection is absolutely incredible. Honestly, there are so many goodies that you can play with, working them together, mixing and matching to create the most incredible cards or other projects. It could be home decor, it could be scrapbook pages, it could be gifting. So many possibilities when you've got all of those fantastic goodies to play with. But here I'm going to create a card. I'm going to bring in some of our acetate to create an acetate bridge card. I love the fact that we're getting some of our fantastic holographic furled acetate within this collection because it means you can yeah. create lots of fancy concepts all those like floating style cars you can do with these with this amazing acetate but let's start off with the card base itself and as always I've used a sheet of our A4 multi-purpose card it's the one I favor when I'm creating my own card bases and I've cut it down to size so that it is a five inches by six and three quarter inch card base but this front section here I've not kept that full length of the card stock I've just cut that down so that top flat there is only one and a quarter inches in height 
And then what I've done is I've taken another strip of cardstock that once again is one and a quarter inches in height and that same width there of five inches. And all we're going to be doing a little bit later on, once we've got our mats and layers on, because I do find it easier to do my mats and layers first and then pop my acetate in. What we'll be doing is we'll be bridging that gap using some of that beautiful acetate. But talking of mats and layers, let's start to build those together now and then let's bring in our absolutely gorgeous paper pad here. So what I've used for this one is I've actually used our six by six, six inch paper paper pad mm -hmm. wow look at the level of detail you've got in there it is absolutely beautiful as always the reverse is that uh, almost like the background from that uh, front side of your paper so if you want a slightly more scale back a slightly more subtle design then go for the reverse of your papers and that's going to allow you to uh, perhaps uh, place more busy items over the top uh, lots of embellishments so it's not going to detract from your focal element we're going to lay that onto some of our silver glitter card. You will, of course, find our silver glitter card over on the website at A4 in size, and it just gives you that lovely magical look and feel to this particular project. I think it works perfectly uh, with this style uh, of collection. The fact that I've gone for the silver rather than gold is because we've got the lovely cool tones, those lovely cool blues, purples, greens in this collection. So it works a little bit better uh, than perhaps your gold car stock. But of course, do have a play around, find whatever works best for you. Mm. Then after our lovely silver card, we're then layering that onto some of our turquoise card that is part of that fantastic linen card that is a, included within the collection. Then once we've layered those three mats and layers together, that's going to be stuck into the inside of our card base just like so. So some of our Collal All Purpose Glue is going to go onto the reverse of there and that's going to be layered onto the inside of our card base. And that's like the scene setter, that is going to be the background for the detail that we'll be building over the top. Then what we're going to do now is going to bring in some smaller mats and layers to go on those smaller panels that we've got as part of this particular card shape. So we've got some thin little strips here. For these particular elements, we're actually going to use the reverse. We want these to be a little bit more subtle in design. And the fact that I've used the reverse actually allows me as well to use up my scraps. These were just the offcuts when I was trimming down my larger piece. And um, because the reverse is kind of unidirectional, it doesn't matter uh, that they are perhaps upside down yeah. on the uh, other side because the reverse can be used in any orientation, which I think is fabulous because it allows you to get even more from each and every single sheet of that paper pad. There really is no waste at all. Same idea there with our mats and layers. We've got our pattern paper onto our silver, onto our blue. And we've actually done that twice. So we'll have one to go on the top and one to go on the bottom. So mm -hmm. everything's going to be matching and mirroring together nicely. So once again, let's bring back in that Collal All Purpose Glue. Ideal for your matting and layering. If you're not as confident when it comes to lining up all of those mats and layers and getting them perfectly straight and level first time, don't worry because you've got that little bit of maneuverability with this wet glue. So you can just slide them into position until you're happy with where they are laid yeah. down. Same again with that bottom section there. Let's just pop our uh, mats and layers onto that element there, which will be the bottom part of our card base. And then it's time to bring in the acetate. Sounded like that was going to be the start of uh, almost like a game show or something. Bring on the acetate. <laughs> Bring on the acetate. Love the fact that with this fantastic acetate, it is a construction weight, heavyweight acetate. So it allows us to create concepts like this. We know that our uh, card is going to be nice and sturdy because we've got that lovely uh, high micron heavyweight acetate. When it comes to your fantastic um, acetate, I would recommend uh, a tape, a strong tape to adhere this into position. So I'd go for either a red liner tape or one of your tape pens. Because our tape pens are super strong, it means it is going to stick your uh, acetate into position nice and firmly. I don't tend to use my wet glues with acetate. I just find they don't dry quite properly. Mm. And something like your finger lift tape might not be quite strong enough. So a red liner tape or one of your tape pens is going to be the way to go when it comes to your acetate. So that's our card base all laid up like so. Love that effect of having your holographic foiled bubbles against that background. I think it gives you so much depth and interest. Beautiful. But let's start to build that card a little bit more. So what we've done is we've taken some of the stamps within the collection. We've taken that gorgeous mermaid. We've stamped her out, we've die cut her and we've added some of our tri-blend pens over the top. You do have some of your tri-color aqua base pens included in the collection. So if you want to do a little bit of watercolor and stamp her out onto watercolor card with one of your waterproof ink pads and you can start watercoloring with those pens. As well as the pens included, you do get your duet ink pads, which yeah. you can also use to uh, watercolor as well, which gives you even more options when it comes to color. 
colouring, but just showing you a different technique there of using some of your alcohol markers. Then I've just taken from the Ocean Dream stamp set, I've taken a few of these gorgeous little fishes. I've stamped them, I've coloured them in, and we're just going to fussy cut these out. So a few tips when it comes to fussy cutting is always to move your paper rather than your scissors. That's yeah. going to give you that smaller, uh, not small, that smoother cut around the edge even. Do have a little play around with different types of scissors. I tend to favour my six inch uh, size scissors oh. when it comes to my fussy cutting. I just find that I get a smooth cut around the edge, but perhaps you're going to prefer our precision snips. For your fussy cutting, just have a little experiment with whatever works That's what best Craig uses, isn't it? Yeah, it is, I think. And uh, then so one of our team uses the big ones. I yes. Is that Debbie Fisher? It might be Debbie, Debbie Fisher, yeah. So we've kind of got the full house now if you're using <laughs> the middle ones. Absolutely, but that's why we say just have a little play around, find what works best for you. If you find the smaller scissors easier, then absolutely go for that, but just have a little experiment and a play around. But now it's time to start building up our card base so let's take our gorgeous little mermaid here and what we're going to do is going to add a little bit of shape to her using our pokey tool so just literally uh, bending and shaping her to give that little bit of dimension onto that and then all we're going to do onto the reverse is we're going to take some of our foam pads to actually give her that little bit of depth and dimension onto the reverse so let's just lay those onto the center there and she's going to be sat onto that bottom left hand side of the card overlapping ever so slightly with that acetate uh, so we've got a sort of sat against there just like so Lovely. and then we've also got a sentiment also included as part of the collection and i love the fact that we've included a uh, sort of fun and appropriate collect um sentiments Sentiment. to the collection mm. so it's not just your happy birthdays it's things with like birthday wishes and mermaid kisses things to do with the ocean things to do with the sea so it's all going to work together perfectly then let's bring in a few of these gorgeous little fishes that we've coloured in with Fussy Cut Out and the same technique here of giving them a little bit of shape by just curving the edges. You could be using your um, ball tools and foam mats to do that technique if you find that a little bit easier. But I find it um, quite simple to just mould them and shape them, rolling them around your pokey tool. But it, of course, as always, it's whatever you find easiest when you are crafting. Yeah. So a few foam pads onto the reverse of here. Just going to cut that down to size and I know I always tend to use the large foam pads and cut them down when I could just be using small foam pads but hey that'd be too easy wouldn't it <laughs> uh, always always making life life too hard for myself hey what am I like so what are you like I'm turning to Debbie Robinson as well there you we are. go spent too much time with that lovely lady earlier this week uh, but here we go let's just lay these onto our card just like so like the idea of having them swimming almost like they're swimming towards each other so let's have these bottom two facing but each you've other you've made your own little aquarium oh yeah it's cute isn't it i mean yeah. you could be creating little 3d uh, creations like that yeah, to could. um to actually create uh, aquariums uh, and like faux fish tanks i think that would look super super cool yeah then to finish this off, all we've done is we've taken some of the coral reef die set. We've die cut some of these from white card. We've die cut some of our silver uh, mirror card and some of our linen card as well. And we're just going to have these just sat behind our gorgeous little mermaid here just to sort of frame her and give her that extra little bit of detail. So let's just lay that behind there just like so and you can see even with that really fine dye onto that fantastic uh, glitter cardstock you still get all that level of detail it still cuts like an absolute dream which is fabulous let's have another one just tucked behind her something like so and then finally just to finish it off let's bring in this one that we've cut from some of our linen card don't forget all of your linen card is included as part of this collection a4 in size beautiful uh, blue and ocean sort of theme color tones that's going to work amazingly well with those fantastic papers that we've got included and the ink pads and the amazing glitters and all those other goodies included as part of this collection just using a few of the items that are included as part of the whopping 29 in this range goes to show what a stunning collection this one is wow i absolutely love this in fabulous enchanted ocean wednesday is the day for this collection uh debbie's going to be here launching it it's going to be amazing i'll go through it. i know we've only got about four minutes left i'll speed through it so many comments can't even keep up uh teresa says hi my daughter has a cheer competition today and she's asking if y'all could give her team a cheer go insidious says here oh. go, go insidious, insidious. <laughs> um, I quite enjoyed that. I'll bring me um, pom poms. Pom poms. Next time. Yep. Yep. That'd uh, be fun. 
Tune in at five, guys. You yeah. know, pom pom cheerleading. It's all, all happening. I'm not putting my skirt on, though. I haven't shaved my legs. Um, oh my gosh, says Deborah. I've been waiting for what feels like forever for this, and I've just squealed and scared my dog. Uh, Anne says, um, not big on mermaids, but I do love the sea life and I love the bubbles. Um, Mary Harris says, these sets are beautiful. I'm supposed to be getting ready to run at Easter Egg Escape Challenge at work, but you are definitely distracting me today. That sounds like fun. Um, the comments for this are incredible, though. Carrie says, very fun. Looking forward to getting this Enchanted Ocean uh, for holidays. Jen says, I'm thinking about where I can get uh, seashell and fish shaker bits. I will need them. <laughs> Why did I just have a, a thought then all of a sudden? Have you know that the fish food, you could put the fish food in a card as your shaker and then send it to somebody who has a fish. I mean, you're thinking about it now, aren't you? Hey, hey, uh, right. Uh, very quickly, look through that. I might actually do it myself. Uh, very quickly, producer. Oh, as I say, producer Johnny has a fish, but he doesn't anymore, does he? He used to have a fish called Bobby Charlton, but um, sadly it didn't make the house move. But look at the papers, right? We're going to go super, super fast through these, but all of your aquatic life in here from, uh, you know, your fish to your seahorses to your um, turtles in here, the jellyfish are just incredible. It, again, it's a collection like we've never, ever seen before. Uh, this is going to get snapped up. There, there will be options again for you, you know, if you can't stretch to the full collection, because it is um, a big collection, obviously, there'll be opportunity for you to jump in uh, and grab individual elements. But you've got a beautiful paper pad in there. You've also got that in six by six. Can I just say as well, when you get the vellum pad home, this is the most beautiful smell. I got caught off camera a few mm -hmm. minutes ago sniffing this. It smells unbelievable yeah if you think paper pads smell good you need to smell vellum because it's even better and yes i am a self-confessed paper pad sniffer but also now a felt self-confessed vellum pad sniffer oh get your teeth around that one but look at those designs wow it's, look at that one <gasps> i know it's it's oh. unbelievable uh linen card you're going to get in here as well all in matching colors for you the consumables are just incredible too so um uh, chunky glitter paste in here you're going to be also getting your gilding flakes I mean, this is going to absolutely come into its own, of course, illusion film. I mean, my goodness me, that you are just going to use on everything. Uh, do you have ink pads in here too? How cute are the shells? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. We have literally thought of everything and uh, hopefully you'll be shelling out for this collection. Uh -oh. That there's um, stencils in here. Again, I'm rattling through, and don't worry, we will show you this in much more detail when we launch it on Wednesday. Uh, but stencils with, um, again, all sorts of aquatic life. You've got your shells there. You've even got like the, um, the coral and the seaweed and the kelp. We've, we've literally thought of everything when it comes to this bundle. And those are just your stencils there because you're then gonna be getting all of these other fantastic goodies. I mean, for goodness sake, look at the mermaid with the um illusion film it is amazing nicola you're right you've also got um stamps and dies in here when it comes to the shells uh the jellyfish i'm not sure whether he's jubilant or joyful but he's one of the two he's one of the two uh, they i mean i know we know who that is handsome seahorse you've got creator card dies as well where you can cut in your scenes and then add all of the different characters beautiful um shell legibles again you've got all of your different types of um seaweed and coral in dive form there's embossing folders in here too i mean how beautiful is that stunning shell get your illusion film and do this that's incredible isn't that amazing mm. I mean, we are, this is just gonna absolutely fly. Uh, more embossing folders, more beautiful stamps. There's the um, mermaid you've just seen, which you've got a stamp and die for. That one there is the beautiful embossing folder, Wonderful Waves. Got a real sort of quicksilver feel about that one. Um, again, another jellyfish in here. You've also got um, beautiful sentiments. Um, and again, stamps, which are brilliant. You are simply mermazing. Oceans of love. Um, you, me, and the sea and may your day be a splash. And then last, but by no means least, I mean, for goodness sake, look at all the stamps in here. It is a mammoth, mammoth collection. And we are gonna be bringing it to you on Wednesday. Make sure you're in. It's gonna be a busy week next week. Um, all of these things I think are gonna fly. Hopefully uh, you've got credit cards at the ready. 
Um, thank you so much, Lily. I feel like we could have done another hour there, but um, a nice little sneak peek for everybody. Yeah, hopefully giving it everyone a little bit of a taste of exactly what's coming up next week. Honestly, it's going to be an exciting week here at Crafters TV. Uh, thank you, Cindy. Glad you like the fish food shaker idea. I'm copywriting that one. Uh, we are back in three hours' time for Cartload. Cartload on Friday. I know it's a big cartload, loads of great deals. They're all there now on the website. So get ahead, get shopping, and we'll catch you back here in three. Bye for now.